I wanted to show my hair after the apple cider vinegar wash. And I think it looks quite good. Um, I have family members now who have started the journey of locking. So I'm back to doing videos, you know, giving advice. And one of the things I kind of noticed about family members, I don't care how good my hair looks. They seem to have a small distrust of taking advice from me. I even volunteer to do some retwists and they kind of like, I'm the last, you know, I, I'll let you do it because I'm not quite ready to go to beautician right now or it's just not the time, it's inconvenient or whatever the excuse is. So I'm going to let you go ahead and, you know, retwist my hair and then there's a complaint like, well, it wasn't tight enough, it wasn't anything. So, and I'm thinking about the days that I retwisted my own hair and it wasn't tight enough, it wasn't like the beautician. But yet, and still... It's okay. Because basically when you're growing your locks, you really just let them, you need to let them do what they do. It's not about uh, looking a certain way or looking like somebody else is. It's about them being who they are and looking like, like they're supposed to look. And that's how they look on you. And I used to compare my head to other people's and I'm going to take this off because it's such a big glare I hate modern day glasses because the glare is like real. So your hair is supposed to look like your hair for you. And eventually you're going to actually really enjoy your hair. You're going to really like your hair. You're going to really be satisfied with your hair. And I'm glad to see all the women out there who have made that choice. I'm not saying that you have to make that choice. I'm just saying that for those you have made that choice to really appreciate black beauty and how we are different and our hair is different and have really changed how you look and have changed what your standard of beauty is. I, I say shout out to you all, all you ladies. Um, I think all ladies are beautiful. I think all hair is beautiful. I'm just saying that to include this hair into the whole spectrum of beauty so that there's still more variety of choices when it comes to standards of beauty. So um, year eight, about to step into year nine. And yes, there's been days where the scissors came close but I'm still here and still wanting people like, how long do you want it? Because it's like lower back now. I said past the butt. I want it long enough so that when I braid it, it's a nice, really, really long braid that I can wrap neatly around and tuck in without extra ends sticking and poking out. That's what I want. Yeah, but every time I get to a certain point where I want it to be, I want it longer. So I want it to be as long as it wants to get. Not Asha, whatever that lady's last name, not her long. I don't want it like to the floor and dragging all down like Rapunzel. No, there comes a, I, I think if it hit the leg or something like that, it would have to get cut shorter. And there's sometimes I look back at pictures and I actually liked it when it was like about right up to here. It was really, really cute. Probably collarbone. That was real cute. Nice bobby look. I like that bobbed look. That was real cute. So, anyway, I'm babbling. It's a snow day. I don't have to work. It's not an e-learning day. It is just a day off. And it makes me feel good about going back to work tomorrow after having an unexpected day off. I haven't had a full day this year yet. I mean, a full week. I don't work a full week. I have Fridays off anyway, but... I've been having three week, three workday weeks this year. Yay for me. So that means, because actually in actuality, I work four days. I have three days off. So half the time I work. What a life. You guys have a good one. Bye.